Waste Water Dam presents Waste Water Math calculated with Excel spreadsheets. As a new service of ESDLT's Environmental Academy, environmentalacademy.com. So today's example is to calculate gallons of sludge applied to one acre of land. So the problem is 320,000 gallons of sludge will be applied to the land. The sludge characteristics include 5.4% solids and 2.9% nitrogen. Each acre of land can have applied 150 pounds of nitrogen. So the question is, and our problem today is, to calculate uh, the number uh, of gallons of sludge <coughs> that can be applied to one acre of land. So that's our problem. How many gallons of sludge can be applied to one acre of land? Now, we, we have 320,000 gallons of sludge in total, but we're not dealing with that. So we don't need to use the 320,000 gallons in our formula. Instead, we just need to figure out how many gallons of sludge is will contain 150 pounds of nitrogen. So it's a poundage formula. So we have to, it's a poundage problem, so we have to use <coughs> either one of our basic poundage formulas or we have to modify one of our basic poundage formulas. And because we're dealing with nitrogen and nitrogen is given to us as a percent, it's not given to us as as lab results, it's given to, in, uh, in increments of millions, as part per millions or milligrams per liter, it's given to us as percent. So we can use the basic formula uh, what I call the percent solution version of the poundage calculation. And we can take that basic formula and we can modify it. Instead of calculating for pounds, it can, it can be modified uh, to calculate for gallons. So, gallons of sludge per e acre is going to equal pounds divided by the decimal equivalent of the nitrogen times the 8.34. That's the basic formula to solve this problem. So if we slide on down and look at the numbers that we would put in there, um, the pounds is the pounds of nitrogen, which is 150. And uh, uh, the concentration is the uh, nitrogen, which in this case is in percentages. So anytime we have percentages and we plug them into the formula, we've got to put in the decimal equivalent of that percentage, which is percent of 2.9 divided by 100. And the standard conversion factor from gallons to pounds is 8.34. So if we throw this into an Excel spreadsheet, what we can do is we can open up the spreadsheet, we can click on the cell, say A1, uh, and then we can go up into the formula line and we can uh, put in our equal sign uh, to start the formula and we can put in our pounds which is our 150 and uh, then we can put in our division key uh, which is the um, uh, the uh, backslash which is uh, below the <coughs> the question mark um, and then we can put in the uh, 2.9, which is the number for the percent of nitrogen, and we can divide it by 100 so that we can convert it from percent to a decimal, and we put that inside parentheses. So uh, then we have the multiplication sign, which is the asterisk above the uh, number 8, and then we can put in 8.34, and we can take all of that uh, stuff uh, to the right of the uh, division key and put that in parentheses. 
So the way this would read, it would be the equal sign, it would be the 150, it would be the division key, uh, there would be two open parentheses, a 2.9, a division key, 100, and close parentheses, um, the multiplication sign, the 8.34, and then the second close parentheses, and hit the enter or um, uh, return key. Um, and then we will have a number in A1. Now, um, I have 620, but that's because I formatted that cell uh, to have um, no decimals. Um, so I went into the uh, uh, number uh, formatting section, um, and I selected number, um, and I um, put the decimals at zero, and um, and then I took this uh, entry, I hit enter, I took this entry, and after clicking the entry again, I took the entry, and I centered it, uh, and I made it bold, and that's where you get the 620 as I have here. Okay, so that's the basic formula. Now I'm going to, I know I spent six minutes, uh, but I'm going to spend a little more time uh, just uh, talking a little bit about uh, some some modifications here a and some um, some some basic information applicable to this uh, this problem um, I put in some distractors in in this problem that you would not need to solve the problem um, and I also um, presented the uh, the information uh, to tell you what to do uh, by putting a sentence in with a question mark so once you read that sentence with a question mark that says how many gallons of sludge can be applied uh, to one acre of land, that tells you what to do. That tells you you got a poundage problem. And when you when you see the word nitrogen, uh, uh, 150 pounds of nitrogen, um, and you see the nitrogen in in percentages, uh, then you know it's a percent solution problem. But since you're solving for gallons and not solving for pounds, you've got to take the basic formula and you've got to convert it. So that's how we selected our formula and that's how we uh, knew uh, that we needed to modify the formula. Uh, I also want to point out that in the beginning of this problem I mentioned uh, 320,000 gallons of sludge and since that's the total amount of sludge we're dealing with um, it, it's really not necessary for the problem so that sentence actually is, is a distractor. Uh, and then when I talked about the sludge characteristics includes 5.4% solids, um, because solids is not the basis for the uh, to determine how many gallons of sludge can be applied to the landfill, uh, the 5.4% is also a distractor. So that was um, a thrown in there to tend to confuse you. Now as far as the formula goes, uh, you could take any any uh, percent solution version of poundage calculations and you could you could use this formula as a template and you can simply modify it uh, to represent whatever you need to put into the formula. Um, if the pounds was different you just change the 150 to whatever the pounds are. Um, if the uh, percent was different you can change the 2.9 to, to whatever the percent is. Uh, and the rest of it's the same. Uh, so you can actually use this as a template for other other uh, math problems. So hopefully uh, this not only tells you how to solve the problem but also tells you um, how to uh, modify the problem and and lets you know that um, you know if you if you need to use this as a template you certainly can. I also urge you to um, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you think this is helpful. Um, also, you can um, send me a, a question, uh, for, and and I can include um, a uh, a movie uh, on on that question. Um, you can uh, post a question on um, LinkedIn. Uh, you can send me a question through my website. You can go to environmentalacademy.com, get my email address, or send out. Uh, submit an, an email form. So again, uh, hopefully this is helpful. 
Uh, thank you very much for listening, and 